Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. There's a lot of Barbies. There's a lot of buzz around the new movie that is coming out. And that makes us think back to our Barbie collections. And with the person who answers all of our questions about our collectibles, what's valuable, what's not, Dr. Lori. We're having a little special segment today celebrating Barbie. How are you? That's right. I've been getting lots of questions about Barbie and what are my Barbies worth and what do I do with them? And there's all different kinds of Barbies now. I love the pool. I like to be out in the boat and at the and poolside. So we've got a little Barbie set up with poolside here today in the studio. But yeah, Barbie's really, really hot and a lot of questions surrounding Barbie. I was, and I love your setup, all things that I recognize um, because uh, my daughter loves playing Barbie in our pool. Okay, let's first talk about, is, can you make it simple in the sense of what makes a Barbie doll valuable? Okay, so there are a couple things. Condition is extremely important. Her, you know, not a lot of other things that are important too. Age of the Barbie is important and they are marked on their bodies. So it's not difficult to find out the age of your Barbie if you just take off the clothes. Now, most Barbies are naked, I have to say. A lot of little girls just take off all the clothes. <laughs> so, but I will say that, yeah, so those are some of the things. You also want to look for things like bendable knees. You want to look for the little stud pearl earrings, makeup on her eyes, and fingernails. So there's certain attributes that collectors do look for when it comes to Barbie. So you say that you can see where they're marked. I never even noticed that. Is there is there a year or something on Barbies? Yeah, there are mar there are Barbies, and in their original boxes will impact value too. But for the earlier Barbies, it's on her buttocks, and for later Barbies of the late like the nineteen nineties, on her lower back. Um, so Barbie does have significant marks. Early Barbies also will have the word Japan under her feet. So you want to look for all of these different marks. They are important for value. I never knew that. Okay, let's talk about though collectors. You made some things that collectors should look for, and you talked about the Barbie market, you know, being hot right now. Right. If are trying to get their hands on it, is it a good time? Because I'm assuming the value of them has increased, so you're going to be paying more because the movie is out, and that's something right. that we've talked about in the past. Right. The movie is doing great things for people who want to be selling their Barbies now. Right. It's spiking the market. Once that market experiences a spike like this, it usually holds holds that number, that value as we move forward. So if you're ready, if you're thinking of selling, get going, let's get started. Cause you want to ride the wave that the movie is creating of Barbie interest. And that will go on probably all summer. I remember, you know, back in the eighties, you know, like the holiday Barbies, you know, were all the rage. And it was like one of those things, do we keep them in boxes? Do we open them and let you play with them? Right, I feel right, like right. we did everything wrong that we could have in our house uh, to go against value of toys. What do you say to that? Obviously boxes, you've already touched on a little bit. Boxes and accessories are very important. So make sure you keep the hat with the jacket and this is her passport, this is her travel. Um, outfit, but you want to make sure that you keep that all together. So if she has certain shoes that go with a certain outfit, Barbie collectibles with like sunglasses and bathroom scales and little brochures that she came with in the early days, in fact, are all important for value. Today, they come in zippered plastic cases, for example. You want to keep all of that intact as well when you're not playing with the Barbies, which of course at your house is never, <laughs> when you're not playing with the Barbies, you want to make sure that you are keeping them in those in those cases. That's extremely important too. Okay. But yeah, Barbie really has a long-standing collectible market. It's been hot for a long time, but now it is red hot. Okay, so don't beat yourself up if you don't have the box and the Barbie is played with. It's no, more it's still important valuable. to have the better, the good condition and everything with it. Hey, let's do talk mm -hmm. more about accessories, Barbie's friends. I see you've got some friends there on your stand. We have a yeah. ton of friends. We have like every little age group possible. Yeah, and Barbie really came into the fold. You know, I was a hippie girl. <laughs> you know, I'm still a hippie girl. So she's a little hippie here. <laughs> she's not really your typical thin, thin Barbie. So the fact that we have different body types today with respect to Barbie. We have Barbie who, of course, has different cultural um, attributes, which is interesting. And that's what's really wonderful. Barbie was always a doll that said, hey, girls can do anything. Uh, but Barbie certainly is now very inclusive, which is wonderful. 
by the way, when you first said hippie, I thought you meant like peace hippie in the 70s. And I was like, I meant oh, hippie. I meant like hippie. hippie. And it took me a second. I didn't realize I, went, I was going into like decade Barbie. I'm assuming there was a hippie Barbie out there as well, like peace, love, and rock and roll Barbie. There uh, is. The original version, the original linguistic version of hippie. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, what about like I see the pool and the slide and the boat. I know our world, you know, dream house is galore. They come out with a new dream house. That's obviously harder to store, which, you know, is something I always think about. But do yeah. those have value? Do collectors oh. want those kind of things? Yes, yes. The 1970s A-frame Barbie house, which was very popular, and her campers, and her airplane, and her cars. and She had wonderful vehicles, I will say. But yes, Barbie, <laughs> definitely all of those accessories impact value. And there are many collectors who spend very good money on Barbie, her accessories, and her clothing. There are fashion sense Barbies too, people who are just collecting just her fashion. And that's really fascinating too. She's got oh, great shoes. That is a good one. That is a good one. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad we were able to touch base about talking about the movie and Barbie. I, I know Mattel, I read an article in Time how Mattel wanted this to have a surgence with Barbie. And even though the movie's a little tongue in cheek, it seems like it's worked. So everybody, all the rage, we've got our pink Barbie, 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 right? Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. It's all fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lori, thanks for doing this special edition with us today. Take care, okay? And are you going to see the movie? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. See ya. <laughs>